All right, so we're <laughs> we're rained out today, but we've been working pretty much all day on uh, doing some maintenance stuff that we needed to do where it dry up because the, the woods was just too wet to run in. But we just have tackled the biggest hydraulic cylinder we've ever tackled in our history of logging. I mean, they don't get no bigger than this right here. I mean, we had to get a crane service out here to uh, to get this thing off the machine. I mean. This thing's monstrous, man. Monstrous. So I'm going to show you all this cylinder here right quick. Booyah! <laughs> What's that thing? It's got about a, maybe a six inch stroke. Don't squirt me with oil on that. And especially not on camera. I might get a lot of views from that. That's it. That's it. About a four inch stroke. Maybe three. Three? Yeah. It ain't even three. <laughs> so... Well, that's a that's a little bitty one right there. Where it goes is, it goes on this measuring wheel right here. This uh this whole pod pivots in and out right here, just just a little bit right here. You see it moving. So when you when you cut the measuring system off on this machine, it sucks this wheel back up in here, and then when you cut it on, it brings it out. And then when you got it on and you work in the you work in the clamps and stuff. It goes in and out too, is the way it does, but it goes on right here is where it goes on. What we've done today is, is we've packed uh, both drive motor uh, cylinders. We packed the knife arm cylinder uh, two weeks ago, and then we've packed the main bar cylinder. We just packed it, and now we're on this one, and then we got the the little saw motor, the top and saw cylinder, it's back up in there. We're gonna pack it too. What's happened is, is this uh, we've never packed any cylinders on this, on this head, and uh, they're the packing is starting to come apart now at thirteen thousand hours. Now you think about it, thirteen thousand hours. How many times those cylinders have cycled, and uh, and all that, and and how you know they've held up very good because you ain't going to find many things that you're going to run for that amount of hours and uh do that so kevin's been up there working all day up there doing stuff up there he had to put a he put a new hydraulic cooler on it. so there's a rod out of it right there so y'all Take it apart. It just screws the, this part right here. See, it separates the hole right there. This is the, oh, I call it a rod guide. Some people call it a gland. And it just screws up into the barrel, is all it does. And then this is the piston right here. And it's got a bolt, an Allen headed bolt right there in the end. You take that bolt out, and that piston will come off. I'll get some more film to show y'all how it works here. And that's it. They lock tight it. It's got lock tight on it there. You take that bolt and you knock that bolt out right there. Well, freaking lock tight it's got it. Shut it. Got to push it on out with a screwdriver there. Stick it to your hand. See, and that's piston right there is what seals it on, on each side, makes it, oil pushes it one way and the oil pushes it back the other way is how it works. See, it's just got a, and this is the way it is for all cylinders. I mean, there's a little bit of difference between them, but they're all, they all work the same way. They attach, the piston will attach on them a, uh, a different way on each one of them. You see, this is the gland right here, the rod guy, what I call the rod guy. It's got some seals on the inside of it there. And then this seal right here is a wiper seal. And all it does is cleans that rod before it goes back inside the cylinder right there. And then it's got a it's got an O-ring right there where my thumb is with a backing washer on it that keeps that O-ring sitting in the right spot. And that's what seals it and keeps the oil from leaking to the outside of the cylinder and dripping out on the on the ground. So when you got one that's blowed, this seal, this the pressure seal that's in here where I'm sticking my finger in, a lot of times it'll crack, it'll dry, it'll just dry rot basically over time. 
and it'll crack and come apart and it'll start leaking the cylinder will start leaking out the end of the rod if that doesn't happen then those seals right there on that piston will blow which are these right here and stuff they'll blow and they'll let oil bypass inside of it and so the cylinder either will not work right or it won't hold or anything like that all right see the gland or rod guide just got put on it it's got all the new seals on it it's slid up on there now the piston is going to go right here and there it is right there the slide's got a recess on it slides up on there a little bit so and then the bolt goes in it a little loctite on it a sticker in there and it just screws straight in and once that's screwed in tightened down then it's the cylinder's ready to be put back together we we'll always put some oil and grease on the seals where they'll slide right up in the right up in the barrel That's all it is, the packing one, man. And that's it. All right, so she's greased up. She just slides right in. Some slide in easy, some not so easy. And this part right here, you'll grab it with a filter wrench right here. Screw it right in there and you run it all the way down, tighten it all the way down good and snug. Then we got the uh, the crane man, he's on standby where we can hook it back up and set it back in place since this thing's so freaking big and monstrous and everything. I mean that looks like something that go on a dead gun tonka toy right there, man. <laughs> Just snug it down, that's it.